So I'm standing here today in front of the Ontario Fire College and uh, Council brought forward a resolution. Well, I shouldn't say Council, I said it came from our Heritage Committee who um, you know, is very involved in trying to preserve what Gravenhurst has as heritage. And one of these being this beautiful property here that we're standing in front of. The resolution that was read was committee submit a letter to the province of Ontario that they recognize the heritage and historical significance of the Ontario Fire College property located at 1495 Muskoka Road North in Gravenhurst and that a copy of the letter be sent to MP P. Norm Miller, MP Scott Aitchison, Ontario Heritage Trust, the Art Articultural Conservancy of Ontario and the Premier of Ontario, Doug Ford. I, this happened so quickly, none of us had the opportunity to even um, do anything about it. it. We were just, the announcement was made and uh, the fire college was closed. It is totally up to the province, I suppose. We have asked to have a voice in what is done with this property. Um, we cannot, as a municipality, designate the property per se uh, because it's provincially owned. Uh, the province has, in fact, protected it, um, historically speaking. So it is, in fact, a, 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 a protected property. But if it goes on the market, if they actually decide to put it on the market for sale, we may have to jump really, really quickly into trying to protect it municipally because at that point, if it is sold, it's no longer protected by the Ontario government. So we have to make sure we get in there really, really fast and protect the heritage of this property because uh, we can't let this go. We just can't let this go. Very disappointing for our community again with so many um, visitors, um, uh, people from school that are attending the property from all over Ontario. Um, this college has been used. Um, I want to say, you know, I have family members that um, have also attended this college. Uh, a fire chief from London. Uh, my nephew is, is uh, becoming a firefighter and very disappointed that he can't to attend a fire, the fire college here in Gravenhurst. Right from the very beginning, from 1958 on, uh, this particular fire college uh, dealt with uh, students, officers who were um, uh, chiefs, deputy chiefs, uh, platoon chiefs, district chiefs, all across Ontario. They trained officers, not so much firefighters, but officers. There was some firefighter training in the summertime, but all year long, it was an officer training facility. So in actual fact, this place educated most of the people who ran most of the fire departments and all of the operations in Ontario for decades and decades. And it was operating very successfully until COVID struck. When COVID struck, it struck everybody and everything. And so like every other facility, it had to close for a while because they couldn't have on-site education. As a result, at the very moment when it was just sort of lingering, waiting to open again, it was suddenly announced out of nowhere that the Ontario Fire College was going to be closed and sold. We had no idea that this was coming at all. I worked here for 20 years as the Resource Centre Librarian. I did research for fire departments and so on, and I know that not an inkling was out there that this was going to happen at all. So it, it just came as a total shock. They're, um, they're doing cleanup, there's security here, so no one can enter the property, but um we're still going to fight for it. I mean, I don't know what else we can do, but we need to really let the province know that this is um, his, a historic piece of property, not only just the, the different buildings here, but um, the whole property is definitely um, has historical significance in our community.